Hi, Rory here from Creative Motorcycle Works. Um, I just want to show you how I'm doing my shims at the moment, uh, if I have to machine a shim down. Um, for all you guys who live in the first world countries, United States, Great Britain, UK, all those places, um, you would take it to an engineering shop or you'll have one. Uh, I live in a third world country and to try and get spares is ridiculous. So we have to make plans. So this is a plan that I've made and I've been doing this for quite a while now and it's working very well. Um, I think all you top class engineers will probably have a heart attack. Um, try and leave your schooling behind for a little while and just see that it actually works. Um, not as perfect as it should, but definitely well enough for the bikes that I'm working on to, to be within spec. Um, so yeah, looks very scary, but I can get cuts at the moment, um, 0 0.05 moles at a time, which I can set up on the lathe. So I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, like I say, for the professionals, you can enjoy the horror show. And for everyone else, this is a, a cheap and easy way to, to handle your issues if you can't get shims easily. In, in my country, that's just impossible. So I have to make this plan. Okay, enjoy what, enjoy what you see or Get the popcorn and let's have fun. Okay, so this shim that I have here is, is uh, 2.45 mil and it's got to go down to 2.4 mil uh, or 2.35. I have one that I need to do 2.35 and then I have three that I need to do 2.4. So simple as this. Um, I have a bucket in here already. So I've got a couple of spare shim buckets um, from the KLR. That's what we're going to deal with over here. And um, this is going to sound really weird, but believe it or not, you take a bit of super glue and clean, clean this off and that off very nicely with thinners or acetone. Make sure there's no oil on it. And just a small blob like that, nothing serious. Turn it around, put it into the bucket, give it a good push for a few seconds. There we go, sort it out. Right. So now. All I do, bring my cross, uh, my saddle up. Okay, then let's, okay, that's all engaged. Right, it might get a bit noisy now, hopefully not. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly just take my cross slide over. Okay, I'm going to run it quickly until I see the first, just the first few sparks coming out of here. Or the grinding just moves slightly. Right, there it's touching. Okay, and I'm going to lock the saddle. Right, so now it's just, just touching now. Right, I'm going to pull it out. And then zero my compound slide. My compound slide is running at 90 degrees. So I'm going to zero the compound slide. Okay, stand by. I had a bit of lag here, sorry. I just want to sort that out. Uh, if there's lag, you need to take your lag up first. Okay, so set that to zero again. Now, that was a bit of a bummer on my part there. All right, there's it's on zero. Run it again. Bring it in. There we go, touching. And then we lock up the saddle. Okay, so the saddle's locked, the cross light is engaged. All right, so let's back out slightly. All right, then we start. bit of noise there okay and we just bring the compound of the cross back okay let's remove this quickly and see 
how much we've gone down. This was measuring at 2.45 uh, before I started. Okay, now we're quickly going to pry this little one out here. There we go. Comes out nice and smooth. I'll be cleaning this off just now, just so that the next time I put it in, we don't have a problem. Okay, so let's measure it up quickly and see where we're at now. So there's no... Right, so if we measure this now, let's check quickly. Okay, so we're at 2.41, 2 which I'm quite happy with. 2.41 works perfectly for me. So this is going to work nicely on the bike. So there we go. There was just one quick go. And then what I'm going to do quickly, just to make sure this is nice and smooth, I'm going to take uh, P800 water paper. And then I've made a little uh, a 3D printed little um, gri, that cup that holds this. And just run it over the water, uh, water paper and just get a nice smooth finish over here. And that's it. Simple and easy and it works like a dream. Like I said, I've been doing it for, a, for about four or five years now. And uh, only once had a bugger up um, because I, I ended up having a bit of a concave um, right in the beginning. But now I've managed to get it that it's nice and center and clean on. And yeah, it's working very nicely. So if you're in a, in a, in a bit of a fix, this is the way to do it.